Hey guys, welcome to another really cool product review. Today I'm going over two really good budget options for sleeping bags. Um, one being ultra lightweight in the Terra Hiker um, bag over here, and one being still lightweight uh, in the Lux Tempo extra large bag here. Um, so let me go over a little bit about each bag and you can decide which one would be the right bag for you. First off, they're both under $30, which is amazing for lightweight, really high quality bags. So super budget friendly. Um, we'll start with the Terra Hiker. This here is 76 inches long by 30 wide, so long enough. I'm 6'2 with pretty broad shoulders, and it's absolutely long enough for me. Um, but at 30 inches, it is a little narrow, so it's really snug. Um, this one is rated down to 45 degrees, I believe, so it's a summer bag. Um, one of the only downsides of this bag is that it is uh, cotton filled, so if you're going to be in really wet, damp conditions, um, probably not the best bag to bring out with it because cotton really retains moisture. Um, one of the cool things about this bag is that it does unzip all the way around, so you can just use it as a quilt. And uh, you know, to go ultra light for under 30 bucks, I mean, for those of you that know ultra light, it usually just means super expensive. So, um, Terra Hiker, really cool option 1.6 pounds, stuffs down into a stuff sack next to nothing. I'll show you the stuff sacks for both of these bags when the video is done and uh, you know you can kind of see how small they get so it's no problem bringing either one of these in a pack so again 1.6 pounds sorry about that almost fell I'm on a chair trying to get an angle here uh, 1.6 pounds stuffs down to nothing it is cotton filled um, it unzips all the way it's a rectangle bag um, and if you're you know I'd say six foot and under uh, this is gonna be a really good bag for you it is a little narrow so skinny people hey that's all you. Um, then you over here to the Lux Tempo bag. This is an extra large bag with a hood. This is a synthetic fill bag um, rated down to 35 degrees, I believe. And uh, I've used this bag a lot, and I love this bag. Like I said, I'm a bigger guy, 6'2", 220, broad shoulders, and uh, this bag fits me no problem. Super snug. Um, this is a synthetic fill, so damp conditions, wet conditions, not really going to... Uh, you know, affect this bag. This bag will make it through. It stuffs down pretty small. This bag is three pounds, but again, there's way more material on this bag, way larger, way more comfortable, hood included. Um, again, though, three pounds. So if you're an ultralight guy, uh, you could still probably get this in your pack because that's still pretty damn light, but it's not ultralight. Um, so the dimensions on this are 90 inches long by 33 wide. Um, again, hood included, synthetic fill. Uh, rated down to 35. Uh, I love this bag, and you know, if I'm comparing the two, if I really, really am trying hard to keep my pack weight down, uh, I would bring the Terra Hiker at 1.6. But at three pounds, it's it's kind of worth 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 the sacrifice for the comfort on this bag. Um, again, under 30 bucks, both of these bags. It's a really great deal. If I had to pick one or the other. I kind of prefer the Lux Tempo, and I probably will still be bringing it. And this one, just like the Terra Hiker, unzips all the way around, so you can use it as a quilt. You can attach it to another bag, um, to another Lux Tempo bag. Same can be said for the Terra Hiker bag over here. Um, just wanted to kind of, you know, do a quick little overview on that ultralight versus lightweight. Um, you know, ultralight's cool and everything, and I completely understand all the ounce horrors that are certainly... Um, counting every single little gram of weight and everything but you know to me functionality versus weight it's it's always a debate but uh i'm sure i will use both of these bags at under 30 dollars you know it, you, you really can't miss on either um i'll be right back and i'll show you guys how how small these stuff down to um you can uh, click on the links in the description i'll include the link to both of these bags they're both really really good options um, and if you like the video, you know, please uh, like, subscribe, share, you know, spread the word. Um, I'm just getting started on doing these, so hopefully you like what you see. Uh, I'll be right back, and I'll show you guys the uh, stuff sacks. Thanks. All right, so here you go. Here's a little comparison on the stuff sack. Um, you can just get an idea with my hands here. I kind of have large hands, but here's the Lux Tempo. Still packs, packs down pretty, pretty small, but, I mean, you know, this thing is just super super compact and super small so it's two things to take into consideration 
uh, depending on the size pack you uh, bring out with you. Either one of them are, you know, really easy to mount to the outside of a pack if you don't have room inside, but I've had, I would have no problem fitting either one of these. So there you have it. Um, if you're interested in either one of these bags, again, click on the link in the description. Um, you know, any clicks or uh, referrals certainly, oh, there we go, I just screwed up my lighting, um, certainly help out um, this channel. And uh, like I said, like, subscribe, share, um, link in the description. So uh, happy shopping. Catch you next time.